What's up Transformers? This is Ben here in China and today we're going to do our fourth episode of The Charge News. Now let's talk about new releases. First we have MP45 Bumblebee 2.0. And my god, this toy looks really great from the front. And how does it look in the hand? I don't know, I'm still waiting for my copy. And here's what you get inside the box. A bit sparse in terms of the accessories, but he's got that cute little I love New York bumper plates. And here's Spike able to sit inside the passenger seat in Bubble B. Market Toys finally released their MTRM 15 Endgame, their version of Masterpiece Dirge. Transform Element has also released their Masterpiece interpretation of Dead Optimus Prime. Now it would have been cool if Dead Optimus Prime was painted with lots of scars and battle damage marks, just like what we saw in the cartoon. DX9's Capone or their version of Motor Master is going to be released sometime this week. So expect it soon at your favorite local retailer. Jeez, this packaging sure is long. It's gotta be because that trailer is hella long. Fans Hobbies has released their Nemesis version of God Bomber, labeled the Black God Armor. And here it is, all wrapped out in nice, sexy plastic. And for some pre-release updates, Fans Hobby has updated and given us resin prototypes of their Mervada. Well, actually, I don't think they are resin prototypes. I think just, they are just painted gray. But anyway, it looks pretty good. And look at that action shot. And little Mervada can transform into the Headmaster, the Junior Headmasters. And here's how Mervada scales with God Jinrai Bomber. God Bomber? Jinrai Bomber? Super Jinrai. I, I have no idea. Uh, uh, it's one of those names. What the? Cruising with the top off. Relaxing. Boom boom. Look at the car. Whoo, that Porsche looks sexy as hell. Man, look at that red on gray. It so happens that Fans Hobby's Mervada is up on pre-orders. And you can find them at the Chosen Prime. And here's the color DG Bash of Mervada. Ocular Max Brawl is also up on pre-order at your favorite local retailers. And it's due, I think, April 2020. And here's how Brawl scales with his fellow Combaticons. Brawl in the alt mode. And here's the alt mode with the other Combaticons. Here's Brawl transformed to the Lake of Bruticus. And here's how Brawl looks with the entire Bruticus and Megatron right there. Wow, this Bruticus is pretty sexy looking with the toy accurate chest plate. And oh my god, look at this articulation right there. BAM! On the ground. Also on the official news, Takara has announced and also pre-orders are up for the MP49 Nemesis Optimus Prime. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that this black convoy was going to be dead Optimus Prime with all the battle damage, deco, and molded parts because it has a new number lettering, MP49. Because normally in the past, Nemesis Optimus Prime would be MP1B or MP10B. So I don't know. They said, according to translation, Google translation, MP49 Optimus Prime will not come with a trailer, will have the matrix of leadership or the evil matrix or the Decepticon matrix of leadership, which doesn't exist in the Sunbo world, and will not come with the Optimus Prime sound box. So no Peter Collins voice. Yeah, it's gonna have the backpack, but no Peter Collins voice. The price though is less than half of the cost of MP44. And now for new reveals. Speculation has that Takara Tomi will announce the newest Masterpiece Combiner, Masterpiece Raiden, a train bot. Now, I personally don't know whether this is going to be true because when I looked at the Takara Tomi official video on YouTube about the trains exhibition that Takara Tomi is exhibiting, there's no clue and not even a drop of hint of Masterpiece train bots, but they did show and hinted a lot about the generation or the legend series train bots. So, is this a mistranslation, a misinterpretation of the word masterpiece right there on the poster? I don't know, only time will tell. Transform Element took us by surprise and showed us this prototype of their interpretation of Mirage. This Mirage definitely looks more show accurate from the front, especially the knee parts where you don't see the engine bay of the Formula 1 car. The shoulders looks like it has ratchets going up and down but I don't see a little joint that gives it a butterfly joint. So it's such a pity that this toy is not gonna have any butterfly joints when it has all this space for it to have that kind of a 
engineering built into it. <sighs> and those hip skirt flaps is still not masterpiece quality. I mean, I don't like skirt flaps anymore because skirt flaps look so like 1999. This is 2020, y'all, and I want my hip skirt parts to like be like Sunstreaker at the very least. But anyway, it still looks hella nice. And that's it for G1 Masterpiece News. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share button and also hit the sub and bell icon for more future videos. This is Ben here in China signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.